This is a demonstration video where I'm going to show you guys how uh, you use the Cellite 545 uh, and other filter medias like our, cho our charcoal filter media. Uh, what we have here is a uh, Buckner funnel with the fritted disc in it. Um, Cellite 545, uh, it's a manufactured product. Uh, it's like filtering through talcum powder. Um, you can use this to clean up a solution very, very nicely. Um, what I mean by that is uh, it'll really take the clarity up quite a bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to add enough to create about a quarter inch thick pad uh, to scoop it in there. Then I'm going to add some water and fill it up about eh, three quarters of the way or so. I'm using uh, reverse osmosis water, so it's totally pure. Stir it up. And what I'm going to do is turn on my vacuum pump and it's going to pull down the filter. All right, so as you can see, we have a uh, filter layer right here. Uh, that filter layer, what I normally do is, I'll let the vacuum pump run for a couple of hours on this uh, just to dry it out. You can also leave it overnight um, so that you can uh, be prepared in the morning to use it. Okay, so I have a, uh, a filter pad right here that's all dried out. Uh, in the previous video, we made one, um, as you can see. So we have a dried filter pad here with the Cellite 545 and I'm just going to demonstrate what it can do. So as you can see this is uh, pretty cloudy stuff and um, what I'm going to do is filter it so you can get an idea of uh, how clean it can actually be. Okay, so to give you an idea here. We were pretty, pretty cloudy. Now, you can see how much clearer it's actually become. You can see right through it. Um, so it's still green though. Um, also, you can see that some of the sediment that's up there that's been picked up um, is on top of the pad. If you actually were to disturb this, you'll be able to see right underneath it. Yep, there it is. Um, that you're just letting that sediment sit on top. We're gonna swap out this collection jar, get a fresh one going. And um, we're going to now go to a second step, which is an activated charcoal product. So we have our step one, and now we're gonna filter this. This stuff is, again, same batch. Uh, we have a organic um, material, and it's mixed with um, an extracted alcohol. Now we're going to add some carbon to this. Get it to cooperate. What we're creating is a carbon layer. And I'm making a mess at the same time. Okay, so I'm just going to move this around in here. Even it out. So again, we're going to flip on our vacuum pump after we get this started and poured. All right, so I let this run through for a few minutes. Um, and uh, I can see that it's a heck of a lot clearer, but still has some of that chlorophyll coloring in there. So I'm um, not really happy with the result. So what I want to do is actually add more carbon to it. It's another trick that you can do is add carbon directly to the fluid. Put that down. I'm adding carbon, eh, two scoops of carbon to the fluid directly. Let's see if I can get it all to fit down there. Okay. 
there's a set. Switch out the flasks, get a fresh one going. Okay. Put our filter back on it. Get our vacuum pump going. <laughs> This runs a little bit finer, so it's gonna take a little bit more time. Uh, I'll probably have to run the vacuum pump for about uh, three minutes or so, or five minutes or so. I'm gonna cut the vacuum off right there, just save us some time. Okay, so here we are.